good day to you and welcome to Caribbean and Urban American Gospel Hit Show with yours truly, Landlord and Mike D. It's the great current gospel hits from the Bahamas, the Caribbean, and from all across America. Glory above the heavens Who is like the Lord our God No one else will do We lift up our eyes to you To you whose throne is in heaven As the desert needs the rain Lord, we need you You are high above all gods Your glory above Our first song for the week entitled, None Like You, 
Coming from a seasoned artist from out of Nassau, Bahamas, Mrs. Tamika Taylor. You know, she's been putting out some beautiful music for many years, and that voice of hers is very powerful and anointed, man. You know, she loves ministry, and my wife just loves her music, man. Loves her ministry, and she always will tell Tamika, you know, Tamika, you know, I am your number one fan, man, you know, but Tamika, you just keep up the great work, man, you know. Uh, sometimes as artists, we get discouraged and we feel like giving up, um, but we do not understand the, the, the impact that we have on people's lives and people miss your ministry. People want to hear more from you. I want to hear more from you, you know, so just keep up the great work, man. You know, we really appreciate you. All right. And now to my brother from another mother, can you please introduce our guest? All the way from the U.S. We want to welcome the internationally popular and anointed music minister loved throughout the world. He's super cool, too. The <laughs> one and only Todd the Lady, brother Todd. Welcome. How are you, bro? <laughs> hey, Mike D. How you doing, man? <laughs> You're welcome. Glad to be here anytime, any day. Hey, Brother Todd, and welcome back to the Caribbean and Urban American Gospel Lit Show. You know, Todd, you were here in the Bahamas, and you did such an amazing job ushering the presence of God in the place till, you know, after you even left, people were still talking about that event. Can you please tell our listeners what was the best part of your experience here in the Bahamas? Oh, my goodness. Um, The Bahamas... It's possibly one of my favorite trips of all time. Um, I've, I've got a couple of them that are high up on my list. Um, South Africa's one, but Bahamas is right up at the top. The entire experience was amazing. And I would say the best part, um, although the people, I mean, for one, the people came out by the thousands. It was, it was, it was crazy because I didn't know if people really knew about the Todd Delaney music over there. But the best part was that we stayed. I stayed for days and spent my birthday there. And man, where, where what better place do you want to spend than to be in the Bahamas? Wifey and I, we kicked this. We kicked this something serious. Hallelujah. <laughs> wow, man. That's really good, man. It's always great to know that, you know, when people come into the Bahamas, they enjoy it. And that's what we want because we really appreciate you and your ministry, man. We really, really love you, man. Your song, It's Working. Wow, yeah. you and Bishop Hezekiah <laughs> Walker on there with you, man. You two are amazing, <laughs> praising God and giving him the glory. Man, the song is kind of just like a dream come true because, I mean, you you know, not often in a person's life they can say that I worked with a legend. And um, and Hezekiah Walker is, is just that. He's legendary. And, and I got a chance to not, not only work with him, but he also still continues to encourage me um, over the phone almost daily. And so um, it, it's become a real relationship that I didn't even know I needed. And um, and so I think that this possibly is one of the biggest songs that I've ever been a part of. So I, I'm believing that this project is going to shift the body in such a beautiful way and, and, and release songs that will encourage people for generations to come. Oh, my God. Is, is, <laughs> who is that? Is that Fellowship uh choir or is that your choir singing in the background so that choir is 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 um a choir out of chicago called destiny worship center where the pastor is deandre patterson um Mm -hmm. and and their choir of course is is dynamite so i had to borrow that that sound and chicago's known for big choir you know the tommies the everything Mm -hmm. and so you know I, i wanted to put that signature sound on it along with hezekiah's legendary uh, modulations at the end of the song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, you know, Chicago is like the birthplace of of gospel music as we know it. You know, wow. Yes, man. yes. You know, mm-hmm. how, how many albums do you have now? About five or what? Six. Okay. Wow, man. Well, congratulations, man. Yeah, man. Nice, man. Nice. But you know, we're going to be busting that tune with you and Hezekiah Walker today, man. Big tune, man. Loving that. Todd, a fan of yours from out of Zambia, Africa, she has a question for you. Hi, Todd Delaney. My name is Deborah TZ from Zambia, Lusaka. I have one question for you. How do you manage your music life or your music journey away from your personal life? Because many artists 
yourself to handle the two. I've been one of your followers and I realized that your music life is so professional. So uh, I want to know, how do you manage that? Thank you. Oh, I mean, that, so balancing my personal life and, and my musical life is um, it's always a juggling act and I always have to, to stay mindful that my house is more important um, than the road. My house is much more important than the road because one day I won't travel, but my family will always be my responsibility. So I have to keep that in mind that my wife's feelings and her, and, and, and her heart is what keeps our family together while I'm out on the road. So I got to make sure that they're taken care of first and then the road is it, it'll take care of itself because the one thing you, you you need is a supportful family, a supportive cast, and that's what my family is. Mm -hmm. So I try to keep them first, and then everything else um, kind of falls in line after that. And Deborah, big shout out to you over in Zambia. You guys know that I love you so much, and cannot wait to come back over there and see you again. Great stuff, Todd. You know, and I just love what you said. You know, and I always just tell people your number one ministry is your family, man. Good stuff. Todd, man, oh man, we just appreciate you so much, brother. I know you know you're loved all around the world. We got much love for you from everywhere, man, and we thank you so much for joining us. Todd Delaney. Yeah, man, bro. You know how it go, man. You know we appreciate you and all that you do for the kingdom, and you know it is always great to have you here with us on the Caribbean and Urban American Gospel It Show, and you know we just wish you all the best, man, you know? God bless, bro. Respect. Oh, man. Landlord Mike D, it's always a pleasure. And you guys know I always rock with you. And to everywhere all over the world, all the islands, especially, and South Africa, you already know it's nothing but love. Just open up your mouth. Scream for, for what God has done through the ministry of Bishop Hezekiah Walker.
You know, it's incredible, but years ago, Todd Delaney was a baseball player in the New York Mets organization. Playing shortstop, they had changed him to second base. Yeah, Todd was in the New York Mets organization, rising up and, wow, and well on his way to the majors. Possibly playing in World Series and that type of thing. But Todd said that God told him, I want you to get out of baseball and I want you to go around the world and minister in song for me. Todd was like, uh, would you say God? And Todd, being obedient to what God was telling him, got out of professional baseball, was a member of Pastor Smokey Norfolk's church in the Chicago, Illinois area, got the nerve to finally join the choir, and eventually became Smokey Norfolk's protege, traveling on the road, singing background for Smokey Norfolk. And lo and behold, Todd Delaney became a solo artist singing around the world and ministering in song for the Lord. And Todd Delaney's 2023 latest album, recorded live in Chicago, is called The Journey. And it's working from The Journey, features the one and only Hezekiah Walker. Yeah, it's working. You keep the faith, no matter how tough it gets. And we want to thank the gifted Todd Delaney for joining us today on Caribbean and Urban American Gospel Hits. <laughs> and Lord, Hezekiah Walker be putting out some great stuff and joining Todd Delaney is a real good move. Todd Delaney, powerful ministry, man. Mike, you couldn't say it any better than that, you know. Todd Delaney is a household name. He has been doing it for years and he continues to do it. And it's always great having him right here on the Caribbean and Urban American Gospel It Show. But coming up next is Allison Moses with her latest song entitled, Excuse Me If I Trust Him.
was Alison Moses with her latest track entitled Excuse Me If I Trust Him. And what I'm getting from this track is that she is really sold out for Christ and she doesn't really care what nobody have to say about her. Uh, they may be watching her, but she will continue to trust in the Lord. And I think that is what we all need to get to that point in our lives where we release all of our burdens and our trials in the hand of the Lord because he has been proven to be a trustworthy God, you know, but, you know, loving the message in this tune and Allison, you know, she's originally from California, but she now lives in Texas and she is very active in their church choir, you know, but Allison, you just keep up the great work, man. You keep on writing those beautiful songs, keep singing them because you do not know who you may be touching right now, you know, so keep up the great work, man. Good, good stuff, man. Well, Mike, we are at the end of the show once again. What word of encouragement do you have for us today? Yeah, landlord, all things are possible with God. So there's nothing impossible to those who believe in God and who will only try. And as long as someone keeps on trying, they've always got a chance. Most definitely, Mike, you know, but how will you know you're going to win if you don't give it a try? Great word, Mike. Well, at this time, we would love to thank international artist Todd Delaney for hanging out with us today on the Caribbean and Urban American Gospel It Show. And we will also love to thank you, our wonderful listeners, for hanging out with us every week. We appreciate you and we love you and we look forward to you joining us next time on the number one radio station right here. This is yours truly, Landlord, and on the behalf of Mike D and everyone here, thanks for being with us on the Caribbean and Urban American Gospel Lit Show. Coming up next, from out of the Bahamas, she is new to the gospel music scene, but not new to ministry and singing. She's very passionate about what she does. And right now, I want you guys to check out her brand new single, you know, entitled Working for Your Good by Brendy B. I hope you guys are blessed by her beautiful song. So until next time, God bless you, and may his light continue to shine on you. God bless. Shit.